Okay, this will be a short one. We will deal with uh, something that has been bothering me uh, and that is the tick of this blueprint with the car. Because the car, uh, they, we're currently looking at the, uh, the parent of all cars. So let's go. So here um, we can mount this car. Um, but the problem being that we're in a first person pawn and the car is just standing there perhaps on a parking lot. And there could be multiple cars standing around and the player can pick any one of them. But it's ticking. So the car is constantly ticking here. Uh, each frame it's sending an event here checking if the HUD is available or not. And, and then aborting if it's not. So that is bothersome to have tick just, just con continuously hammering. Uh, and we have a node to turn that on and off. So uh, we have this on uh, event possessed when we as a player actually ventures into the car. We're in the car parent. So going all the way here to the back we're right clicking and typing tick and then we have several different tick functions here and one of them is set actor tick enabled to actually tell this entire actor remember this is an actor and all of these are components inside the actor but the entire actor is ticking so we can say that when we are possessing when we're possessing, we want this actor to tick. But when we're unpossessing it, here, unpossess, going all the way to the back. I'm, I'm copying that node and I'm copying that node and pasting it. When we're unpossessing it, we're actually uh, disabling tick. Disable tick when unpossessed. Enable tick when possessed. <clears throat> But the, the blueprint actually ticks from the, from the get-go. Um, and so therefore when it's spawned, when the session is spawned, and that is on begin play, we can tidy this up. It starts to become a lot here. So, and that is on the begin play. We can hold down P and left click. We get the begin play. So on begin play, when the session actually starts, we I, I copied this one from the unpossessed, copy. I'm telling it to not be ticking. It's not enabled. Disable tick when game starts. Because the car isn't default, def the car isn't the default pawn for the this game. The default pawn is the first person ca character. So now when... Uh, let's make a comment box here. Begin play dis disable tick. Now when this uh, starts, the, it won't tick, but when we actually possess it, it will tick and, and function properly. So now we can actually, we don't need to do this check anymore. So the vehicle HUD, we're doing a valid get here. So we can actually bring out the vehicle HUD and just do a get. That is a little bit cheaper because we don't do the need to do the validation of the HUD each and every frame for each and every car that we have in our level. So we have made this blueprint slightly more performant uh, and it will hopefully work. Um, so I'm still able to drive. 
So this driving here and this HUD that we can see and everything, uh, the HUD is behind my image, is, um, is driven on tick. So everything works, but if I'm exiting the car, this blueprint is no longer ticking. So way more performant. And that is it. A very short uh, short um, little workshop here but an oh so important one for uh, for knowing and understanding uh, the performance of things that's it peace out live long and prosper